futility. All right, hello. Um, congratulations to Tulsa, Coach Montgomery and their staff. They played a really good football game tonight. Um, you know, there was, there were some moments where, you know, it seemed like we were really in it. I thought late in the first half, we got a couple stops, we had a nice touchdown drive. We knew we were getting the ball to start the second half. Um, so that was, you know, I thought we were in a really good spot there to, to get back into this game, um, you know, the second half. I thought, uh, you know, there's just too many missed opportunities. Whatever they were is missed tackles, um, drop passes, um, you know, what have missed blocks, whatever those things were. Um, it's disappointing because we had a fantastic week of practice. I thought the team prepared really well. We knew that Tulsa was going to be a big, physical, talented team, and that's exactly what we saw. Um, obviously, we had trouble tackling their backs, both good players, and, um, you know, in the times we had we had trouble, you know, blocking their front, which um, that's why we kind of got a little lopsided in the run passing in the second half. Um, but um, you know, that it's just frustrating moments there because uh, you know I, I think we're going to look back at that and realize that that had a lot more to do with us um, not executing the details of our assignments than than it had to do with with them. So. Tough loss. We've got 10 games left. We've got a lot of football left to play. We have a bye, which gives us a chance to fix some of the stuff that wasn't right tonight. And um, I love this team. I love how they work. And I'm excited to get back in here tomorrow and start fixing uh, what was broken tonight. All right, we'll take questions for Coach Brennan. Raise your hand. We're going to fix it. Coach, it seemed like Josh kind of really got rolling on the touchdown drive. And then early into that next drive, you got in the two-minute drill and we're moving the ball. Mm -hmm. Had that third down where the, the snap went, goes off. And yeah. made, did that feel like a big missed opportunity, like not being able to get those? Uh, absolutely. Points? And that was, a, you know, it's, that was one of those deals where the O-line came out and said the, signal, the defense was jamming their signals. And so I don't know. It didn't happen in the second half. But, that's, you know, Hoppy snapped a lot of snaps here and never done that before. So um, absolutely missed opportunity. We have to be more disciplined than that. Our ears need to be trained for the clap of the guy behind center, and um, yeah, that was extremely frustrating. Coach, particularly in that first half, you guys forced Tulsa into a lot of third down situations, but were unable to really get off the field there. Right. What, what was the problem in you know, kind of finishing uh, through with that deep? Yeah, defensive I, I, think, um, I, th I think what it looked like during the game was that uh, we were having trouble getting home on our man and zone pressures. And um, you know, that, uh, that was extremely frustrating because with some of the stuff we were running, we should have had, he shouldn't have had that much time. And, you know, he escaped on the first one for a big play. Um, you know, he's a good player, um, stands in there, moves around better than you think he does, and delivered the ball accurately on those third downs. So extremely frustrating points for us. Um, you know, I did think late in the first half, I think we had back-to-back -back stops, which, you know, we felt good about. Okay, here we go. We got a touchdown drive. Here we go. Um, we knew we were getting the ball back and, it, you know, or getting the ball to start the second half. So, um, but that was definitely a, a, just frustrating moments for us in the first half with that third down. Uh, Coach, uh, Tulsa, over 250 rushing yards. Uh, last week, it was in, a run defense was an issue too. What are you diagnosing as the problem uh, for that run defense? Well, last weekend, Northern Colorado had 41 carries for 110 yards, which is 2.7 a carry, which would have been number one in the nation. A year ago, so um, we didn't feel like it was a problem a week ago. It certainly was a problem tonight. Um, big backs, big people on their offensive front, and uh, we got to do a better job of, of getting off blocks and, and finishing tackles. And I think everybody on our football team saw that and knows that. Coach, you kind of already touched on uh, the missed opportunities seen tonight, but uh, you know Tulsa had 12 penalties for 105 yards, and in the middle of the second quarter. Uh, Namaya, uh, your corner actually almost picked it off. So, can you talk a little bit about you know capitalizing on those kind of moments? Yeah, that was um, you know that was something we had talked about a lot as a team. Was that um, for us we had kind of thrown out the game against Michigan State. We knew their quarterback was a good player, and we talked all week with our defense about you're only going to get one shot to pick him off because he's only going to make one mistake and. 
that was just a tough one because of the way the ball came out. And, and Nehemiah is a pretty sure-handed guy. And um, that was just disappointing and missed opportunity there for us. Coach, I know Josh got banged up a little bit there. How's he doing? He's doing fine. Yeah. Coach, you talked about you know, the inability to stop the run. Right. But for you guys, obviously, getting the ball going on the ground for yourselves is also an issue before right. uh, your backup quarterback came in. Uh, I believe you guys only had 67 yards on the ground. What was the issue up front blocking or actually getting things going? So the scheme Tulsa runs is a they end up having a six-man box. Okay, So if you have five blockers, you're going to be one short. And so we were trying to do some stuff to get them to move around so that we could expand that box and get somebody out of there. Um, running the football is almost always a numbers game. And so um, we knew it was going to be uphill against them. So we were hoping that by hitting some of those throws that we would thin out that box count and they would push some of those linebackers into coverage. Um, and we did, we did have some success doing that. Um, but they still played it. Um, even though we hit those throws, they still played their base front, which is just a heavy box count, and you're running uphill into it. So as a coaching staff, you have to decide, OK, that's, we're outnumbered. That's not smart. Let's get the ball on the perimeter and, and see if we can make some plays there. The difference with Nick versus Josh, um, you know, obviously, Josh isn't a guy we choose to run a lot, right? Um, and so. Um, because we want to protect him, right? And so um, when it's Nick, then you're, now all of a sudden your numbers are even, right? Because he's an actual ball carrier. It's kind of like that. Um, obviously, the first half was much better than the second half. Tulsa started to pull away. It, do you think there's any adjustments you could have made looking back, or was it just fatigue? What do you think was the issue there in the second half? You know, I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to look at the tape and see exactly what that is. You know, in, in real time, I saw what you saw. I saw us miss too many tackles, and I saw us not get off blocks, right? And then offensively, I saw us miss too many opportunities, whether it was drop passes or, or um, you know, things that stop drives like that. You know, I thought we played a pretty disciplined game in the penalty space, which I was excited about. Um, but like I said, we got a young team, and we got a lot to learn, and we got a lot of football left to play. Anything else? All right, Thank you all. Josh, it seemed like uh, kind of on that touchdown drive, you guys got going a little bit, and two-minute drill was starting off so well. Um, got that third down and to have have the, the miscommunication on the snap. How frustrating was that when that could have been a chance to maybe tie the game? I think uh, looking back at this game, I think the big things were just we're shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, we're doing some really good things, but, you know, the, the costly errors, the penalties and stuff like that, we need to fix up. Josh, we just spoke to Coach Brennan about kind of the issues you guys had running the ball. You talked about mm -hmm. facing that six-man front that Tulsa had. What did you see from your perspective out there on the field, and just how difficult was it kind of the uphill sledding, like Brennan said? They have a big front, and uh, I thought our guys did a really good job in protection. Um, we started getting the running game going, um, but that's a good team, and, you know, we just need to find ways to win up front and, and to get in all phases of the game, the pass game going, the rushing, rushing game going, but uh, you know, it's going to continue to work. Uh, Josh, it's obviously probably pretty tough to see Nick Nash out there uh, as a fifth-year senior watching the true freshman. But um, you know, do you have a mentor um, relationship with him, and and uh, what do you think of his play so far in this season? I think uh, he's done a really good job, and um, you know, he has uh, he's a dynamic athlete, and he um, adds that to the game with his running ability. And I think it kind of keeps defenses on their toes. But yeah, Nick is. Uh, a great dude, you know. I've tried to help him out as much as I can, and uh, but he's improving week to week. Josh, uh, you guys only punted once in the first half and three times in the third quarter. Can you talk a little bit what happened in the second half? I think that again, like I was saying earlier, like just shooting ourselves in the foot, 
you know, we just got to keep, um, you know, just sticking to the game plan and just um, executing what, what we know and what we can do. And um, whatever the defense gives us, you know, we have answers. Just got to accomplish it. Speaking of shooting yourselves in the foot, there are a few drop passes throughout the game. Uh, I believe there's one deep down the sideline uh, to Bailey, and there's a few other in that second quarter as well. What what was going wrong as far as the communication between you and your receivers out there? I think um, the communication is fine. I think it's just um, continuing to trust them that they're going to go make plays, and um, you know I'm going to keep feeding them and uh, expect that that they're going to be there. Thank you. Um, Kate, obviously, uh, 256 rushing yards from Tulsa. What was it about the, their backs that made them so tough to stop? Uh, their backs ran really hard, and we, um, I think it was more about us not doing our job, you know. Uh, we had some, had some hiccups here and there, and we uh, gave up a lot of big plays. We got, a, we got a lot of stuff to fix. I think they started uh, six of seven on third downs. Uh, just how frustrating with that, especially the, I think the first drive. You guys mm -hmm. stop them on, on the first two plays, and then quarterback gets loose on that. On that. Yeah, uh, I think especially in the first half, we did a really good job on first and second down for the most part, and then we kept letting them convert, which which we can't do. We gotta we gotta finish drives as a defense. Kind of following up on that, there were a few instances where. Speaking on these third downs, you know, you guys had things that looked like they'd be bottled up, mm -hmm. and you'd let, you know, a 30 yard pass downfield, mm -hmm. or, you know, the quarterback scored out for another 15 yard gain. Yeah. How can you guys shore those things up and stay disciplined when you guys do have things kind of, you know, taken care of around you know, those plays? Yeah, you know, when it comes to that stuff, it's a lot less about the technicalities of the defense, it's just about um, making plays. And when it comes down to it, you have to win the one on ones, and when you have a chance to make the play, you got to make it. It's, has a lot less to do with X's and O's, and it's just being able to do those.